there, friends, and good morning. Do you remember your very first job interview? Can you remember possibly how nervous you were? It's quite natural to feel nervous or anxious about a job interview because someone's about to scrutinize your appearance, your mannerisms, what you say, and how you say it. And if things go well, it could mean a, a job offer. If things don't go well, you might soon find yourself living in a van down by the river. Now, I, of course, am exaggerating, but it's exactly the kind of thing you're thinking when you're stressing out about a job interview. You know that you will be asked the infamous questions like, tell me about a time, or for some of us, the challenging questions start with, so tell me about your strengths, tell me about your weaknesses. We all know how it is. The interviewer wants to hear you talk about yourself. And you may feel uncomfortable or awkward, but the fact is, if you want the job, it's imperative for you to describe how your strengths and how your experiences, which brought past successes, will bring value and future success to their company. Now, we can learn a very valuable lesson for ourselves from this. And that is, it is important for you to keep good records of all the wins and successes in your life. Because here's what I know, you are going to have some good days and you're gonna have some tough days. Life will um, inevitably offer challenges to you, but in those painful or challenging times, the wins of your past can supply the confidence that you need to face your current battle. Those wins can fuel uh, your courage to win again this situation. My favorite Bible character, David, illustrates the idea uh, that I'm discussing here in the renowned story of his battle with Goliath. One of the key components that would explain David's courage is discovered through his conversation with Saul. While everyone else doubted and hid in fear, David's prior battles prepared him to face this monumental or Goliath situation. When Saul questions his credentials to fight the giant, David, he recounts his confrontation and victory over a lion and a bear when they had tried each of them to snatch a lamb from his flock. And David confidently tells King Saul, the Lord who delivered me from the paws of the lion and the bear will deliver me from this Philistine. I want to remind you, today as you face whatever it is that's before you that there is strength courage and confidence to be gained by rehearsing victories won in your yesterdays maybe you're struggling with confidence maybe your strength has succumbed to today's struggle i want to encourage you this morning to remember the grace of god that brought you through that's past tense will take you through that's future and present tense. The grace of God that brought you through can still take you through. So listen to me. If it's a physical ailment, a personal adversity, or maybe a vision or a goal that you're striving to achieve, whatever you may face, whatever the mountain is that you're staring at, remember God's faithfulness and then recall how he has provided for you in your past. Keep good records of the wins in your life. And by doing so, my friends, you are writing the script of a testimony that will carry you through the challenges in the days ahead. In next week's videos, I'm going to offer some very practical tips to apply in our lives for seeing present and future successes. I hope that you have a blessed remainder of the week, and I'll see you on Monday. God bless you.